Okay, Leo. What are we doing here, Leo? Let's see how you guys are uh, doing here. We're going to go for the third week of September. What is the situation here for the third week of September? For my Leos. Let's see what's going on here. Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, the Fool. Uh, hello. Holy shit. And the Ace of Cups. Usually when I see Fool, nine times out of ten, it's an Aries card, by the way. It makes me feel when someone's abandoning ship and taking the risk and leaving a relationship behind and going off on their own. They're going on a fool's journey, a fool's, there you go, fool's journey. Uh, not an errand. Just, they're like, you know what? I'm going to march to the beat of my own drum. That's usually what a fool does. They take the risk, even though they're leaving something behind. That's what we mean by risk, right? Here's the full card, just in case. He's taking a leap of faith and going off a cliff. Because behind him is a relationship, is a job, is something that's abundant that's already giving to him. Him being the person in the card, you, whoever, male or female, is the fool. In all attempts to find what this person is looking for is that they're looking for something more than what is actually back there okay because they're looking for something more in their life something else now when i see a set here of a king and a queen of pentacles because that is a set you are vibrating on the same frequency on the same level on the same channel with somebody you are a king and a queen matched in stability because it is an earth sign. It is Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy, unless you're dealing with an earth sign. But you are being represented by the Queen of Pentacles, who is somebody nurturing, loving, kind, caring, but stable. So when it's the King and the Queen matching the same element, you are like kindred spirits. You are like soulmates. You are in a relationship, but the Fool is here. So some of you guys are taking a leap into faith to go into a relationship with somebody that's like you because i see the ace of cups at the bottom of the deck or you're leaving that behind to find new love all right we'll see when we clarify the clarifiers give me the details and we get more specific um but that's the situation and who i'm reading for in regards to leo now let's see what's coming in towards leo mind you this can also be work related or family related because it's somebody that you are matched with and our jobs are our partnerships, right? Or we deal with somebody at work that is our partner or, you know, our family, our brother, our sister, our parent. This is like a set though, but from the bulk of you, it is talking about a relationship for me. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is the things that we do in the shadows, the sneaky deaky stuff, or we're ghosting. We're leaving some shit behind. You're either having an affair, lying, cheating, stealing. If it's not you, it's them. Because cards are energy. And when we do that, when we're hearing about ourselves and who we're involved with, we're inviting their energy into the reading. Just so you know, and they're represented in the cards. So this could be you, this could be them. Just want to be clear. So cross watchers, of course, it doesn't have to be just you. But because I'm reading for Leo, I'm going to put it in their perspective. Now, Seven of Swords is talking about having an affair running away from something or you're strategizing something at work the bottom of the deck is the seven of uh, is the queen of swords you are you are in your head you're not in your fire space you are in your air space and air people they tend to be very cerebral methodical well thought out um they're fair they're balanced they're honest because you're in the upright position you're trying to calculate something you have your sword and either you're going to put it down to conversate with somebody or lift it to cut it out. You're being very fair about the whole situation, but you are also strategizing something, all right? Because you're definitely calculating something in your mind. Now, let me see what's coming, what you don't see coming your way. Page of Cups, mess, uh, text messages, small messages, small energy, somebody younger than you could be more immature and the knight of wands okay now we're talking 
the message the the messenger who is the night and then the actual person who delivers the message which is the page now just depends on what element we're talking about and when we read it in combination again the ace of cups at the bottom of the deck oh my god another page under that you guys are having some sort of an affair or you're having something casual or you're doing something non-committal okay with the knight of wands knight of wands is somebody who goes in and goes out they go to a party and then they go home they don't live in the club they they go they dance they leave bye you know it's the same thing in a relationship uh you go over your friend you know your buddy's house your lover's house you have fun and then you go home there are no expectations with the knight of wands it's boom boom and then the knight of cups i mean the page of cups sorry sending a text message that's i'm gonna put it in perfect perspective when we're dealing with somebody and we're just like not in that position or place or that confidence level where we pick up the phone and we're talking to a person like we want to like marry them or be with them as a partner we and say hey like I'm taking this huge risk so I'm like let's go out for coffee or ice cream or something like that because I want to talk to you on an emotional level no this is like texting somebody for a booty call that's what a page does they say hey let's meet up at this place at this time and then you go and you meet and you do what you do and then you leave because that's what the knight of wands does it's clear as day for me but the crazy thing is the ace of cups at the bottom of the deck because the ace of cups is something that the universe is trying to give to you as a fresh new start in love but they are aces and aces are opportunities what you make of is what you will all right so if you carry on in this energy with somebody but you want something more um at some point you're going to have to switch it up or transition the energy let me see what your advice is here for this So I don't know if you're carrying on outside of a relationship or you're considering going into a newer relationship. Let me see what's going on here. Six of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords in reverse. Somebody actually needs your attention. It's just literally what I just got done telling you, picking up the phone and asking somebody to go out. It's more personal it's more serious um if not it just feels like breadcrumbs to the other person and again flip it it's the other way around but for me when you're in the advice the six of pentacles is asking for help it's asking for money it's asking for a job it's asking for attention or somebody needs that from you again we're going to clarify um and the knight of swords in reverse watch your words watch your actions it's mostly your words because the knight of swords in reverse is like diary of the mouth it's like you blurt something out really fast without thinking about it and you can't take it back the damage will be done okay so we'll see why that's also there what's the outcome of the week please i'm sorry i read like all up in your face like blah, blah, blah. but i like to use the tarot as a tool and to be honest I want you to think of me like I'm your older sister sitting at the end of the couch and we talk it some shit through uh, because I care. I really do. Um, but this is how I want to be taken as I don't want to be coming off of someone like, oh my gosh, she's so aggressive. It's because I'm passionate about it. Just like you passionate. Um, Eight of pentacles and the queen of wands. There we go. Speaking of passion. Queen of Wands is either you, Aries, Leo, Sag, but it's you. Uh, but if it's not you, the other, you know what this other card represents? If it's not you as a fire sign, it's the mistress. It's the mister, third party. It's the person having the affair. Um, and the Eight of Pentacles. A lot of you in regards to work. You are working really hard towards your craft and you're doing something very creative, something that's really up your alley, okay? Because you're coming out as you, your own. You're in your own skin, your own shoes as the Queen of Wands. Fiery, passionate, uh, excited, um, really like confident and good in what you do. And you're keeping your head down and you're turning out those coins and you're not even seeing like they're being collected. Uh, but with that said, 
if it's not work related because some of you could be retired you're working on your shit your hobbies yourself your family your 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 inner human construct uh, and you're doing well and you're doing it creatively in your own way with your own passion now if this is in regards to love uh yeah you're working um but you are also like entertaining you know some sort of an affair or somebody in your situation is and at the bottom of the deck you have the hangman you're gonna get stuck i mean if unless this is what you want let's start clarifying What is the Queen of Pentacles, the Fool, and the King of Pentacles? The Eight of Pen, the Eight of Cups in reverse. That means you you're thinking about going back to somebody or something, because you took the Fool action. You walked away, and now you're thinking of going back. interesting I say interesting because you took this action the fool you took a leap of faith and you bounced um which is this here ghosting or having an affair uh but you're thinking about going back or you are going back um the star but you're you don't think it's hopeful you think it's hopeless and the seven of cups in reverse you are confused you're not sure you don't know if what you did was the right thing six of swords you will mentally leave something behind you will disengage and this is also why we kept seeing the two of wands at the bottom of the deck in your future cards because you're going to come to that crossroads that path um and move on i mean right now i get the feeling and the vibe you're going in a new direction We'll see seven of swords ten of pentacles which is marriage commitment i don't and the sun and the nine of pentacles being single so i don't know if you some of you are having an affair while others of you you ghosted someone or something or that you were ghosted um but something about a marriage and a commitment that can make you happy but I see you in being single I don't know if this is in the back of your mind this is what you want basically Knight of Wands page of cups some of you are leaving a marriage and a commitment to go find your happiness Yeah, let me tell you something there is definitely some new love ace of cups you are definitely meeting somebody brand new i can't even see it it's an ace of cups i swear it just looks so whited out from my perspective and then there's the fool yeah you're taking a leap of faith and a risk and you're trying to go towards something new you're starting it off though as casual i don't know if it was an affair or and you want it to turn to something serious or this is just how you're going about it right now but you met somebody new or you're gonna meet somebody new but the way you're starting it is like a fairish but not you're you're starting it out as casual six of pentacles and the knight of swords watch your words that you don't come off looking like your bread crumb or something you're going to regret saying somebody here definitely from a marriage or a commitment does need your help i do see you here as the queen of pentacles somebody earthy grounded also somebody who is nurturing loving kind and caring but i also see unrequited love i see you being like the like Ugh, i'm over it 
with someone. Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. You're going to start a new chapter and you're going to start off being single. And I think that's mainly because a lot of you Leos left some kind of commitment behind and you're going towards a fresh new start in love. All right? Because I think you're like, I'm going to work on myself. I'm going to be single for a minute. Let me see what I want and start my new chapter. The devil. Queen of Wands. Be careful that this it doesn't remain an affair or who you're hurting or what's happening. And when I say who you're hurting, I don't mean just the other person. It's the people in their environment. Yes, they're responsible for them, but still, you want your karma to be like, you know, tight as a drum. Romance angels, what, what say you here for my Leos? Well, hello, passion and true love. Damn. Allow your heart and soul to sing with passion. This is a romance of a lifetime. And at the bottom of the deck is soulmate. Maybe you're feeling it. And maybe that's why you're going in that direction or that path. Let me see what the oracle has to say for your advice with the wisdom house and night. Wisdom. Take the wisdom from these cards. You don't have to, but good to have, good to know. My Leos, please. Obedience. Why did we get obedience? Let me show you the card. There are rules for everything. The sun rises and the moon sets and they dance together in perfect steps. What rules are you considering when you ask your question? You're going to be sorry if you're going to break a rule that's in place to protect you and to protect others. I legit just got done telling you this now, chills. Even though you may not like authority right now, this is not the time to obey what has already been put in motion. This is a time to learn the lay of the land and to follow the customs that keep things in order. Learn the steps of the dance before you attempt to change them to suit your needs. You're going to be sorry if you break a rule that's in place again to protect you. Guys, I say what I say. No, I'm just kidding. It's a song that got stuck in my head. Um, I think it's good advice. I think this is just... I think you're also adhering to it anyway from looking at the cards. I think you're still going in the right direction. I think you are marching to the beat of your own drum and you're being your true authentic selves, <coughs> but with some guidelines. All right, this is what I have for you this week. I hope you enjoyed that. Please leave me your comments down below and I'll see you in the next one.